Hey my cookies, today I'll be showing you how I make pecan pie. Let's bake. We're gonna start with three large egg yolks and make sure that they are at room temperature. You don't want them too cold, it throws off you know, the balance of the pie when you bake it, things bake it. Y'all just make sure it's at room temperature. Whisk it well. Then we're gonna add in our sugars. I'm using half light brown sugar and half granulated sugar. I just like the flavors of those two together. It's not that sweet, it's not, you know, why am I explaining everything in depth? Just use two sugars, boo. That's it, two sugars. And now we're gonna pour in some dark corn syrup. I almost forgot what it was right then. This is such an easy recipe, y'all. Then a little splash of pure vanilla extract. If you wanna use some booze, you can add some bourbon or some rum right here. How much? About a quarter cup. Now add some cinnamon. I love cinnamon. <laughs> okay, pour in some melted butter. Make sure that you let that butter cool a little bit. You don't wanna cook the eggs. But yeah, pour in melted salted butter. Why? Can somebody tell me why we're using salted butter in the comments? I say it all the time. And to avoid using salt later, salted butter has that covered, okay? Mix it together really, really well. I should have gotten my electric mixer for this, but I didn't feel like doing cleanup. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. The whisk got it done. And it should look like beautiful salted caramel. So pretty. All right, set it aside. Now your pecans, I don't know what a pecan is. I'm from the South, shout it. All right, so I just roughly chopped them up and you will never see a dessert or pie or tart, anything on my channel and the crust look good. It will never look good, okay? Um, you can use a pre-made crust from the store or you can look in that description box and get my recipe for pie crust. I already got a video on that. So go ahead and pour those roughly chopped pecans in there, spread them out. Then pour that liquid gold all over the top of them. Make sure you scrape the bowl because we don't want to waste any of this. And this is why I really need you guys to make this pie because I took my precious time putting these halves on top to make it look decent and pretty. I could have been doing anything like going to get my nails done because they look a hot mess in this video. I'm upset. But anyway, yeah, you can do this. If you like, it's optional. If not, don't even worry about it. All right, little baby, pop this pie in the oven on 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. And then let it cool on the wire rack before it looks like this and you can dive in. The recipe link is down there in the description box. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I gotta eat until next time. Be blessed.